Hey Code Crew, it's Chris here. It's been a long time since I've recorded a video like this, but we've recently crossed the 500,000 subscriber mark. And I wanna thank you for all of the support that you've shown us for the eight or nine years that we've been on YouTube. It's really, really incredible. I couldn't have imagined that we'd get to this point today. And you know, it all started like this, just making videos. Now in recent months, I hope you've learned a lot from our guest trainers. Over the years, I've been so fortunate to make friends and I'm so happy that they were all willing to lend a helping hand. Stuart, Flo, Michaela, JC, and all of the other trainers that have appeared on our channel, I respect you guys so much and thank you so much for appearing on the channel. Now, if you guys wanna see more from them, I'll put the links to their channels in the description below. I hope you learned a thing or two from them. So the question is, while they were teaching, where was I and what was I doing? Well, I was working behind the scenes, doing things like business development, content planning, trying to set up partnerships, and in general, just trying to grow the business. And the truth is, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just learning things as I go along. I didn't go to school for business, so just trying a whole bunch of different things. And over the past eight or nine years, this is how Code with Chris grew. I would try a lot of things, uh, you know, 99% of it wouldn't work, but sometimes every now and then one thing would really hit and it would help grow Code with Chris just a little bit. And um, over the years, that that little incremental progress got us to where we are today. Now, I'm happy to say that despite just shooting in the dark like this, we have done better each year compared to the previous year, except for some of those early years. But um, all of this growth over the last eight or nine years have and thanks to you. So thank you so much for all of the support that you've shown us. So at this point, we've grown a team to run the day-to-day -day Code with Chris engine. And really the last thing for me to do is to remove myself from the training role. And that way I can focus 100% on steering the ship. But before I tell you what I've decided to do, let me give you some background information, some context. You see, spending all of this time learning business and marketing has really taken me away from the code. And I still think I can do a pretty stand-up job of teaching the fundamentals of iOS app development, or else I don't think that we would still be here. However, if you put me into a room of full-time iOS developers, well, I don't think I would feel very comfortable. And the sad thing is, when I think about that, it actually it makes me sad <laughs> because I really like coding. It's just that I haven't done it for quite a while, at least at a full-time capacity or you know, at a capacity where I can feel confidently calling myself an iOS developer. Now, feeling the way that I do, there are two very specific memories that come up for me. One of them is when I was an intern at a consulting company and my supervisor was a software architect, but I was pretty much a PowerPoint monkey uh, preparing decks and sometimes ordering catering for their exec meetings. I know that's a weird combination of duties, right? But anyways, there was one specific time that's really clear in my head. He said one of the things that he misses the most um, is just sitting down and coding because he can't do that anymore as a software architect. I guess he spends a lot of times designing systems and software instead. And then the team goes and builds the software. The second memory is when I graduated and started working full time. And at that full time job, again, my mentor was a lead architect. I know, lucky me, right? Um, but he told me, again, one of the things that he misses the most is being able to put on a pair of headphones, sit down and code and have nobody bug him or look for him. And you know what? I can really relate to that because when you're in the zone and you're coding, that's some of the best time. Like time just flies and you're having, you, you end up having a lot of fun. And one more bonus example, just to hammer the point home. My friend works at Google and he's been working there since 2007 when we graduated together. And he tells me that these days he doesn't touch code anymore. He's just managing teams and he's doing important stuff that doesn't involve coding. So all of these examples, basically say that in order to move up in your career or to grow, you end up moving away from the code. All right, so it feels very natural for me, for Code with Chris, for me to start moving away from the code as I have. 
and now to the point where maybe I w I am you know pretty much removed from it to be honest it doesn't feel right I really had to stop and think about it and try to put my finger on why I was feeling this way and so I started asking myself questions like why do I want to grow the business what would it feel like to have you know a ton of people working here um, would I be really stressed out would I feel eager to wake up every morning or would I dread it and that led me to I think the the bottom line like the most important question is what do I want to spend my day doing like, what do I enjoy doing and I think the answer is clear it's coding it's sharing my knowledge it's interacting with you guys you know those very elements that came together to form this YouTube channel nine years ago and I'm so fortunate you know I recognize that that I can be in a position to make this decision that you know I want to spend my days doing this and this can be my full-time job and I, I totally recognize that and I'm so thankful for you guys for your support that allows uh, me to do this because not only are you supporting me um, and making this a full-time job for me but also you're supporting a team now because we have a bunch of people working together to you know produce the content and release it and do the social media and the newsletter and all of those different aspects so really on behalf of the entire team you have our sincere gratitude and appreciation so really this video was to thank you guys for your support for 500,000 subscribers this huge milestone for our youtube channel and for the business and also to tell you that it um it gave me pause and gave me a chance to reflect on you know how the business has grown and what do I want to optimize for, right? And uh, I want to optimize for day-to-day -day fulfillment rather than trying to grow the business for the sake of growing the business. So thank you for giving me that moment, right? Um, and thank you for listening to me ramble. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.